I mean, here at Stevenson, we use indoors as a, as a time to really prepare for, for the outdoor season. So we don't expect the fastest times and the farthest jumps and farthest throws so much indoors where everybody's kind of looking to peak in May. But we did have a really successful indoor season. Um, the men and women did a little bit better than we expected, and we're looking to really improve on that this weekend at the outdoor championships. So our goals as a coaching staff, when we talk to the athletes, was really, we want them to just do better than they have all season. So that means beating their seeds and just running or jumping or throwing farther than they have before. So if they do that, it's a success to us. And as far as uh, where we can finish as a team, we're just looking to, to improve on our indoor placing and indoor, indoor um, point totals. So uh, one of our top performers on the men's side is Idris Idris in the 800 meters and the 400 and the four x four and the 1500 this weekend. Um, so he finished runner up at the NCAA championships last outdoor season. So we're really hoping that, that he gets there again, but we're looking to see what he does this weekend. Uh, one of our throwers, Nathan Williams, has had an incredible season, keeps breaking school records every other week. We're excited to see what he does. On the sprint side, we got a really solid group, but one of the standouts right now is, is Cameron Summers, who won the indoor 60 and now really lost the 200 meters indoors. Um, so we're looking at what he can do in the 100 and the 200 and the 4x1. So, and then also in the multi events on the men's side, we have Richie Case, who's multiple time defending champion in the decathlon. He's back again. So we're really hoping that he can do that again this year and, and potentially win again and maybe have a shot at going to nationals. On the women's side, we're really excited to, have, to see how some of the, the different event groups do. On the distance side, we did add a new athlete um, in Isabel Pardue. So we're excited to see what she can do. She's one of the top seeds in the 5K and the 10K. Um, Kyla Wilson in the sprints has come on really strong and she's one of the top three seeds in the 100 and the 200. So we're excited to see what she does. And then just across the board, we're just looking to see, uh, we're, we're excited to see all the hard work pay off. And everything is kind of, kind of in geared towards this weekend. So we're really excited to see the hard work pay off. Yeah, so in track and field, every other meet during the season, there's really no team score. So this is what we're, we're really gearing up towards all season. It's the first meet where they actually have team points. So you get points by finishing in the top eight. It, it goes down um, from, from uh, first place being 10 points all the way to eighth place being one point. So it's the first time that the, the team score actually matters. So we're, we're really excited about that and they get fired up and it's really cool to see them cheering on the different event groups. And, and we're just, it's again, just to see all the hard work for months. I mean, they've been training since October and the cross country athletes since, I mean, this, since the summer. So it's really exciting to see all that hard work kind of pay off and see it all come together this weekend at the conference championships.